How did you lose your gender identity? I grew up. I matured and I started living a more adult experience. You know, I had gone away to college and I was you know, thousands of miles away from my parents. And so they simply weren't taking care of every sort of you know, basic need. So priorities definitely had to start shifting around. And I think as I got further and further away from high school and more and more into a more adult sort of life, I had to reorganize what was important to me. And so being trans just kind of started slipping further and further down the list. Did you feel like you started to think about things more practically and less urgently? Yeah, because I remember actually when I was really seriously weighing should I detransition in my head. I was like, is this making me happy on a practical level? And I had to say no, it was not. So it just seemed illogical for me to continue. What was appealing about being trans? No more weird men trying to talk to me on the street or like cat calls. No more threats of being assaulted. I think I just felt a lot safer knowing that people would see me as a man and they did start to see me as a man. And I remember feeling a lot safer. I remember feeling a lot more confident just because now I knew I could go out walking alone at night and I could be afraid just a little bit less. And that was very important to me. And just, I think I could think of myself as more of a person as a man because other people saw me as more of a person and not a woman. Transition in one word. Misguided. Detransition in one word. Liberating. Gender identity in one word. A trap. <laughs> <laughs> what issues were you trying to solve by identifying as trans? Uh, I think just I wanted to feel more comfortable in my body. Um, I started feeling dysphoric when I was like, I guess kind of prepubescent. Like I remember first feeling really uncomfortable with the idea of being female when I was 12. And that was a little bit subdued for a while. And then when I was 15, it just really got super intense. And I think that transitioning was just a way to solve dysphoria. And it was the only way that I knew of that would solve my dysphoria. What was the process of transitioning medically like? I had to uh, see a therapist in my home state for, I think it was six months. And once that time limit was up, she gave me a permission letter to start uh, she gave me a permission letter to start hormones and to eventually have top surgery. I never turned in the top surgery letter to anyone. Um, and then once I had my permission letter for HRT, I took that to um, an endocrinologist that was like 30 minutes away. And they just started giving me hormones. I got them on my first visit. Um, but yeah, I had to go through being diagnosed with gender dysphoria and getting a permission letter and then I was allowed to actually visit a doctor and start hormones. How often did you see the gender therapist and what was the quality of the therapy you received? I saw her every week for six months and she, I think, really tried. I think that she really legitimately wanted to explore other options with me. Like she wasn't a gender therapist. Mm. I don't think there was a gender therapist in my town at the time. Um, and she wanted me to not jump to transition as the first and most successful way of solving my dysphoria. You know, she recommended, well, why don't you have a relationship with someone? You know, when you're a serious relationship with someone that can really change how you think about yourself. But the whole time I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. I have dysphoria, so the only way I can solve it is by transitioning. What made you think twice? I think part of maturing for me was also recognizing what sort of impact I was having on the world. And there was, 
I don't know, six months there for a while before I officially said, okay, I'm detransitioning. I just became more cognizant of how many, I think, problems I was supporting by being trans. You know, I'd always said I'm a feminist and I think men can be feminine and women can be masculine, but by identifying as trans, I was saying, well, I can't be masculine as a woman. I have to be a man to do that. So it just kind of, I had to recognize that I was ultimately supporting a lot of things that I didn't believe in. And I was being a hypocrite by being trans and still saying gender roles aren't real because my trans identity was based on gender roles. And that made me really have to think critically about what I was doing and who I was as a person.